What's up, everybody? It's Polly here. Polly's Productions guitar lesson. Whew, that was tough. Uh, Papa Roach hurt. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to break this down in real simple terms. They do it more complex, I'm sure. So apologies to them for this. But if you're in your garage and you want to jam this, this is how we do it. Okay. Basic three chords there. Um, so take your E. Drop it to a D. Ninth fret, nine, 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 uh, top three strings. Five, fifth fret, same thing, top three strings. And then open, top three strings. Okay, that's 99% of the song. Um, that's it. <laughs> I'm joking. Don't, don't shut me off. So in between those chords, all right. Do those things which are just octaves right so so go to your 12th fret on your D and then your 14th fret on your G what I'm doing is muting that string in between with this I'm getting lazy lazy fingers what I like to call it so you get that real thick octave sound so we've got 9 12 14 we're going to use this shape throughout the song, and that's how I'm going to explain it. 12, 14 octave. Fifth fret. 9, 11 octave. Open. I think he's keeping that on there, so we're going open, 9. You could do open. that little ditty which is 9-11 octave bend up half step come back home 7-9 octave 5-7 octave okay, okay. Um, if the bends are too rough for you you can always work on your slides so you just go up half step to 10 so 9 10, 9, okay, um, so we've got, that's basically it, the strum pattern, so down, down, mute, up stroke, I'm assuming, okay, now uh, there is a little build up in there. That is real simple too. That's octave shape five and seven. Seven and nine. Nine and eleven. Okay. And then he goes into that same riff. Um going in and out of the choruses and the build-up sections too, there are, he substitutes this riff for different ones. Um, <laughs> I'm going to show you one right now. Here we go. Right, that's where you get a wig out. Um, you can do it there, that's just a D, it's just the, it's the last chord built up. You can do open D. You know, whatever you want to do, it's just a build up. It just substitutes those build ups for this. Okay, so that's basically it. It does start with an acoustic, which I believe is very similar to this. So you could just hit your distortion pedal to clean. But let's say, let's say someone screams this at you in the crowd and you're at a coffee house and you just got done playing 
John Mayer or something, right? And you're like, Papa Roach, what? So the way to do this is really, really easy. Um, with this genre, you could break this music down into really simplistic, sim simple um, arrangements, right? So it's three chords. The whole song is basically three chords. B, G, D. Or your singer wants to play it impromptu. Like, oh, I heard this on the radio yesterday. This genre is really cool for that. So you go B, G. That's it. G, B, B, G, D. You know, and then you can, depending on how well your your chords are and your, your verse in your chords. You can throw stuff like that in. Uh, keep it real simple. And that's just the high part of those octaves. Which is just played down here. All right. Uh, do me a favor. Subscribe to the channel, please. I also teach one-on-one -on -one Skype lessons as well as in person. But if you're not where I'm at, it's difficult. So check out polysproductions.com. Comment. Send us requests. Send me requests. Uh, later on, have a good day. Have a good week. Goodbye.